You look like yeah. H if Hillary Clinton had a daughter that wasn't Chelsea. Oof. So I'll do a little trick. Yeah. Skate for me. Dance for me. Woo. That was. <laughs> now it's your time. <laughs> it's gonna take me. A I haven't done it. Hold. On, just I'll go sideways. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm gonna be okay. See? That's not bad. Here, Woo. and we'll latch. Oh. Well, Does that way feel better? There we go. That's much okay. better, right? It's more the commitment to the forward motion that stresses me. You know, we all have to commit. It's a long way to go down for me. <laughs> um, is the only issue. Okay. How did you know that you wanted to be a performer? You wanted to be a singer? I've always, I've, I mean, I've always known. I think I was five years old and I was talking to my mom and I was like, I want to sing in front of thousands of people, and I didn't know what that meant, but she. She did, in a way. I kind of, isn't that so funny to like, at five years old, you said something Literally. like that. And I would like, I would stand up on the, like we would, we flew, flew a lot, because my mom's American, my dad's Australian, and so we spent a lot of time between the two. And I flew a lot as a, like a baby. Mm -hmm. And I loved, they would put headphones on me and I would like listen to music on the plane and I would stand up in my seat and like dance and perform in the seat. <laughs> and like, my parents were like, oh, isn't she great? And everybody around them was like, okay, f sit down, okay, <laughs> get her out of here. One thing that is very cool is that you are an independent artist. Yeah. So why be independent? Do you have more control over what you yeah. do? Yeah. Uh, and, and listen, like for the most part, I really got to make the records I wanted to make at Sony anyway. Like I don't, and I, you know, hindsight's 2020, and I just have so much gratitude for where I am now in my life. Mm -hmm. The number one thing for me is that I want to put music out when I want to put music out. Yes. I don't want to wait because some huge artist is putting out a song and they don't have the resources. Oh, so to, do you have to, to wait, like scheduling and things like that? I to... was ready to put a record out and I waited for two years. What? And I kept writing and the record kept getting better and it is what it is and that's just what happens sometimes, but like... What are they, what is the point of the waiting? Because they think it will... Because no, because nobody knows what's hot, nobody knows what's good, nobody, right. like everybody thinks that they do, but nobody actually does. Right. And so you're going like, I think this is a hit song. And they go like, you don't know anything. And I'm like, well, neither do you. So yeah. what does it matter? Let me put out music. Uh-huh. Speaking of independence. Yes. It's time for you to learn a trick. The element you're going to do is, yeah. it's called stroking. You're engaged. You <laughs> know what that means. <laughs> I do. You, so you best believe I do. <laughs> All right. So what the stroke is, it's going to be a push. So you're going to push together, push, Together. Okay. Push, push. together. Push together. What? Very good. Very, very okay. good. You're being really condescending and I really like it. Thank you. <laughs> like very, very, very good. good. Okay, no, I I'm got this. Push together. Uh, yes. Push it's... together. There you go. That's Am very I doing good. It? Yes. Was I better than everybody else? Tell me I was. You were. <gasps> yeah, I know it. I know no, I was. No, you are. <laughs> I don't believe you. What's coming up for you? I'm actually working on music right now. I'm feeling, to be honest with you, candidly, feeling very inspired. Really? I'm really like, I think I'm writing some of the best music I've ever written. Full circle, I feel like my my last record, my independent record, mm -hmm. I really needed to like find myself again in a really like important way. Yes. Um, and I think I have. That's and I'm so like great. writing these songs, and I'm like, are these so good? And I played them for my one of my really good friends last night, whose opinion I trust very deeply. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I want to play some of the songs I've been doing. And he, he listened and he was like, these are very good. I was like, yes, I That's, knew it. Yeah. So I'm really excited. You know what I love is that when you were talking about you, when you have this like song that you want to put out, you just feel like the timing is right. Yeah. I had this friend once who told me that we're all given these like moments of genius. Mm. And when you have it, you shouldn't wait. Yeah. Because you can put these moments out, and when you put it when out, it collects more. Yeah. Wow, I love that. <laughs> I, I, I've had a couple moments actually for the first time in a long time where a song has kind of come to me. I was like in the shower, and I was like, I've got a song right now, and I wrote it in 45 minutes. It's been a long time since that's happened, and I'm really? like, I have, it's like I have the ability to find those right now, which is 
not always, you know, true. Well, that's you know. a pro. Yeah. Have you ever written a song where you thought, oh, this is not good, and it turns out that everyone loves it? Oh, literally all the time. <laughs> literally all the time. So you only write songs that you're like, these are all these awful, are <laughs> and that's tragic. a Betty Who album. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There it is. Um, no, it's it's funny. It goes either way. Like, yes. there are some where sometimes I think my fans are going to be obsessed with a song, mm -hmm. and then they are, and I'm like, okay, I know you. I know, like when I wrote, I have a song called Mama Say. It's on my second album. That I when I wrote it, I was like, this is the one. And now it's like my like my most played video. Like at the shows, we close the show with it before the encore. It's this big moment, and I'm like, I knew this was gonna happen. Yeah. There are other songs where I'm like, my fans are gonna love this. And everybody's like, it's okay, sick. And I'm like, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay, cool. No, I got my bad, you guys. I'll I'll turn another one out. I would love to do a trick with you. Let's try to do a Triple mohawk. Axel. Okay. What's a mohawk? So a mohawk is a way that you would skate from forward to backwards. Oh, it's not gonna happen. And it looks okay, like a sure. very like simple thing that you wouldn't notice. That if like if I were skating, so I'm skating, right? Back and sure, a mohawk backwards. is I don't have this. That. Where you swap your feet yes. out, but, but secretly. Yes. So that nobody even notices. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna sure. skate forward. Okay. On our right foot and okay. step to the. <gasps> I almost had it! I almost had it! That was I surprising. Had it. Sorry, I'm screaming. Look at me. The shot. Yeah, f you guys. I got this. Woo! I mean, Betty, mother fing who? Are you Fuck, serious yeah, right now? The mohawk? Show me again. <laughs> okay, and then I. Right and left. <gasps> oh my god, I can't believe you did that for real. <laughs> that I'm was amazing. I was almost doing it. Wow. That was truly amazing. What's that thing in Australia? Vegemite? Oh my gosh. Our most famous export? Yes. Vegemite is one of those things that you definitely have to grow up with. Okay. Um, but also, most people don't tell you how to eat it the right way. What's the... So the, the real, the good way. The good way. Okay. Toast. On toast, yeah. Butter, Vegemite, butter. avocado, oh, okay. and then salt and pepper. So okay. Vegemite avocado toast is like one of my favorite meals in the world. Okay. Yeah. What's the biggest difference between living in Australia and living in the US? This comes up for me a lot because I spent time growing up in between the two. And so I watched a lot of Australian television as a kid and then I moved to America and I was 15. And okay. so every cultural reference from 15 on for me, I get in America. Right. But then someone will be like, you've never had gushers? And I'm like, what a gushers? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? And they're like, what do you mean? And I'm like, oh, I didn't grow up in this country. And I forget all the time. Wow. So it's a lot of childhood stuff. That's, to not have a gusher. I know, it's, and to it's have been like remedied like a now. yeasty product, yeah. so that seems like a, not a fair trade off. Swap out the gushers for my yeast yeah. and I'll be good to go. <laughs> I think it's time to do another move. Okay, great, wow. I want to teach you a ballet jump. Okay. You are going to put your left foot in the ice, Okay. hop up on it, and push forward, and it's called a ballet jump. Mm. So you're gonna go from backward. Ooh, over here, I see. And then tap and step. And then you take off on your right. Yes. Okay. So it's bump, bump, bump. So you're on your right foot. Okay. My right foot, so I ta I, I'm tap. stepping this way. Yes, and tap. Nope, this way, and then I take off here. Very good, this was very good. No, I don't no, 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 because it's it's a lot like a pat your head, yeah, rub your stomach. Kay. You're gonna get it. And so it's the tap, and then you, and then take off immediately. Yeah, so it's that left go that goes bump, bump, stop. Okay. Okay, ready? Good. Do you like? Do you like this came come up? I do. Yeah, yeah I do. I like the like you. You yeah. know. Yes, you know you. a good angle. Yeah. Oh, she knows her angles. That's very good. I made us something special. Oh, sweet boy, thank you. Well, wow. I had to because I had so much fun. Tell me about what we got going here. Well, this is a kettle mule. Whoa. There was one moment today that was very special for me. Which one? It was when you flawlessly executed a mohawk. Flawless you know that execution. that's so hard. It, it felt hard, so yes. I, it was a challenge. You brought me out of my comfort zone today and I really enjoyed it, so thank you. No, thank us. Ah, love that. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah. I'm ready for another special moment. Me too. I think you should perform for me. Oh, yeah, sure, okay, I'll, yeah, okay. Okay, and then... Oh, wow. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 
Wait, I'll help you up. I don't know how to, um, have you okay. seen the... So wait, yes, now one leg in. Okay. There we go. And Thank then you. take it from here. You've oh, got, and you've okay. got Oh, okay, I keep going. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. And then I come around and this swaps around. That's the mohawk. Yeah, very good. And, Whoa. Woo, and then I, and then I give a little. <laughs> and then I you do the chug. This is what they call the chug. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then I, ooh, um, you stay here. Just That's a little good. Cha -cha. Oh my, little yes. Cha -cha. Cha -cha. <laughs> and then I come around, big arms, big arms <laughs> for my final pose. Oh my God. I'll never I forget I what one, I think I did one, but I did it, I think. That was good. <laughs> that was very good. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Break the Ice. Betty Who. Babe. You are amazing. Cheers. Cheers. What a day we've had. Oh, so good. Amazing. Make sure you follow Betty on all her socials at... Betty Who. Easy to remember. Like this video, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time on Break the Ice.